thinking of it. I need that. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hi, Jason. Oh. <laughs> like, we start and then you're just like, ow. You have so many plants now. Alright, so I, I, got, I farmed some titanium. Ooh. I also made a moth trap. I like how the mushrooms are wide so you can actually cut down three of them at once. Committing trees in. What a treat! Blech. Just realized there was snow on, uh, there, there's snow on these trees so it's dropping snowballs. Ooh. Which can be used to create, create uh, what is it, ice cream. Mix, make it with sugar and you make snow cones. Because the thing I needed most was 75 more saplings. Yes. Alright, put down moth trap. Alright, we should upgrade some stuff. I'll do that. Need a bunch of string. I'm such peaceful music. Alright. What do we need to upgrade our uh, bench so that we can actually make armor? Titanium. Titanium. I got none. I wish you could sort, like, the... Like, the inventories. Is there a sort button? Only for your own. Yeah, that's kind of a, that's kind of silly. Oh yeah, do you have a A E R A or sorry A P P augment? A what? A P P augment. What's that? The thing that goes in your backpack. Oh, the E P P augment. Yeah. I have a light one in mine, so it just makes I a little bit of light around me. Okay. Mine's electric resist, but I just found a auto healing. If you right-click it, it'll put it in and get rid of your old one. You can override them. You lose them, but... I think healing's more important for me. <laughs> <laughs> I like how these guys also, like... You, so you have a, a person settle in here with their yeah. little thing. He actually gives quests, too. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Alright, we have a sewing machine now. Ooh, I'll come take a look. So you can make simple capes and stuff. And a mannequin to display armor. Boxing gloves. Oh, the boxing gloves are a weapon. Alright, we have an industrial workbench. And better forge. Forge, get about it. We need silk. Canvas. And leather. And titanium. Radiation EPP. The canvas just takes more cotton. Takes cotton wool. Silk is silk fiber. Which I think is the moth trap. Okay. Where are we headed? If you head to my ship, then we're on the ocean planet. And in the ocean planet, if you go underwater, there is a high level thing. Uh, you're not at a planet. Oh, am I not? I'm close by the planet then. <laughs> Give me one second. I was going to build more of those moth things. Alright, so for our armor sets, we're each going to need a canvas, two canvas, and a silk. Yeah. Uh, you should be able to make us a canvas. I just gotta go to my. I I've got ship. plenty of uh, stuff for canvas too. Okay. I can make my own canvas. I got leathers. Me too. There, I've got my two canvas. Do you have lots of titanium or? Yes. How much titanium is it? Let me check here. I'll just go get my stuff for my canvas. Twenty titanium bars. That's one leather, right? And one leather, yes. But uh, we need the silk, which we don't have yet. Yeah, I had, I had almost, I have like 350 titanium bars, so. Isn't titanium also used to make some ship parts, or some mech parts? Uh, I think so. Alright, here's the titanium for your armor. You. It's just one canvas we need? Two. So six cotton wool, which should be pretty easy to make. Yeah. I can make my helmet. My boots, or pants, pant boots. <laughs> Moth traps. Okay, yeah. now the thing is just the silk. It takes one full night for these things to fill up, and it gives one to three silk each. Okay. <laughs> Mine is the night set. Night to meet you. Blech. So yeah, some of the parts take uh, titanium. Okay. I'm making a cape, and then I'm going to dye it red. <laughs> Alright, how do you make dyes? On the sewing machine. Third third tab. Do you want a strong one-handed uh, pistol? Sure. I'll take any guns. This is the rate of fire. 
but it's got 10 damage on it instead of like four, which most of the other ones we have are. Okay. This one's got burst fire. <laughs> All right, should we go and do some scanning? Uh, I just gotta make. Oh, there's a bunch of silk here. I looted the first three. And I looted the last three. You gave exactly enough for one silk. Maybe. Oh, you need four. I got. I got six. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just give me a second here. <laughs> Breast. Breast of fresh air. Alright, now I'm at a planet. Okay, I'm just gonna go switch out my uh, rocket jump, because it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Which jump are you gonna use? I think I'm gonna try the wall jump, actually. I got another tech card for another, enough tech cards for another jump? Yeah. I got eight exactly. Ooh, wall, okay, wall jump is nice because it still gives you the double jump. Eat some food. Refuel my ship. I've got enough uh, crystal fuel for like, <laughs> like, I have about 3,000 worth of fuel. Or about 2,500 worth of fuel. Oh, jeez. Gonna go put all these saplings away. <laughs> Alright, head into your ship. And you said you're down on the planet? <laughs> Explosion! Sinking, sinking, sinking. You're going straight down? Yep. You'll see it on the once you get down. Uh, you want to go slightly to the right. The entrance is on the right and left. But see, these guys are so Asian. Oh, it's probably faster to go to the left. <laughs> so just so you know, you can't actually like pick up anything here. Well, you can scan. Yep. Stora. Oh, a picture. Tasty soda. You probably already looted this place. Yep. I may have missed some because there's a lot of stuff here, but... Oh yeah, I found someone I, I found someone that I missed. This is some high lotto stuff. Yeah. They're very Asian. You just floss on the right side. <laughs> yeah, I found some more stuff you missed. Yeah, fuck your sake. <laughs> I think on the left side there is a uh, a room with a bunch of people. Oh, they also have an arcade here, which is amazing. This is so Asian. It also has Dance Dance Revolution. Come up here, Mike. <laughs> yeah, come in. Oh, I think there's something down here I can... Want to play some Dance Bound? Oh, I found a kimono. And dude just comes up here and starts playing an arcade game. <laughs> What's up? Okay, I'm coming back up there. <laughs> I come up to the arcade. That's awesome. Come up here. Yeah, I'm just scanning everything. It's important that you scan the arcade machine so we can build them later. Never heard of this Starbound game. <laughs> hey, Mike. Still scanning. <laughs> hey, Mike. Dance, dance, revolution. <laughs> dance bound. <laughs> Yeah, party, party! <laughs> oh, oh, here. There are emotes. <laughs> Need the communal bottoms, though. Yeah, I found it down. So there might be more yet. Oh, big dance theater. Yeah, these Asians are high tech. They've also got, like, a whole bunch of art. Special art way up here. Okay. Oh, here's a bunch of green stuff. Yeah, I should have picked a high lotto, but instead I went with the robot, because Asians are pretty much robots too, aren't they? There wasn't a high lotto on my list when I went to. Oh, is there not? No. Nope. Had, uh... Oh, here's the arts. Someone is fond of lily pads. Or Pac-Man. Left control on the left. What does that do? Oh, it changes my eyes. Uh, Glitches aren't very expressive. I wish you could dance though, because I'd totally be dancing here. Dancing to the Pac Man. <laughs> hey, come here. Hey, just a sec. I found a bunch more stuff up in the ceilings. Alright, how am I? Oh. <laughs> High damage. So much to scan. <laughs> Some of the stuff you can't reach it, you can go inside here. <laughs> See the, uh, you see the Pac-Man? 
Yeah. It's looking at the yellow pouch being like, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> if you run against the thing right here, you can uh, get the speaker system. I already scanned it. Fashion, fashion. Oh, there's stuff in the ceiling there. This is like where I found the kimono. Oh, two-handed mm -hmm. sniper rifle. That's something okay. you want in your life. One-handed rapid fire machine pistol. Ooh, I'll take any pistols I can get hold of. Yeah, this stuff's a tier above uh, our, the previous area, so it's likely to be stronger. Ow. <laughs> a shield generator. I think it's purely cosmetic, though. Just like in Star Wars. <laughs> shield generators are cosmetic. <laughs> Alright, did you fill up your high lotto thing? Mm, yes, by the looks. It does say return to Esther. Oh, I'm just gonna go check further to the left here. Okay. Like along the floor here is where you find. You can actually scan a lot of this stuff too. Yeah, is where I did. found the uh, the reef pods and the coral, the coral creep. Glad we can breathe underwater. Then we can't dash underwater. And then there were these anchors, and underneath the anchors were treasure chests which only contained like junk. I can dash underwater. Anyways, I'm gonna head back. <laughs> Bow looks funny when you shoot it underwater. It's like arrow will go straight down. <laughs> Can I see if I can pick up some raw fish. <laughs> so I, I shot some arrows and they just slowly fall down. And uh, <laughs> one just landed on top of a fish and hit it and killed it. <laughs> Alright, so I think we need some more weaponry. Yes. So we should probably head to difficult these types of difficulty planets and find some ruins and stuff to loot. Okay. Threat risky. All right. So, are you good with me leaving the system, never to come back? Yeah. We're gonna go turn in our special thingy, aren't we? Oh, what the high lotto thing? Yeah. Uh yeah, we can do that. <laughs> whip it, whip it. You gonna whip <laughs> it out? So this should make give us another mission, right? Yeah. Well, I would imagine so. That was the last clue we needed to find the high lotto artifact. Wonderful work, dear. Alright, it's close to deep beneath the ocean, a place called the Grand Pagoda Library. The library is very ancient, it should be an interesting place to visit. Alright, new mission. Oh, this will this should give us some good stuff too. <laughs> Manipulator module. Yeah, but our weaponry is a little bit uh, is a tier behind, so it's gonna take like double the amount of hits to kill enemies in there. Okay. So I figure if we get some decent weaponry. <laughs> Alright, you headed to your ship. Alright, where to go? You said you found a risky planet. Well, I have to find a risky planet. Frozen star. Fiery star. Temperate star. We'll jump to this one. Whee! So we have an ocean planet, a sand planet. Foresty planet, another ocean planet. Aren't you even risky? I don't know yet, actually, to go fly over to them. This is Yggdrasil Rest System. And this one is risky. Okay. Right. You go left, I'll go right. Okay. Once we get there. Oh, yeah, we should go look at the mech parts, too. There's a uh, dungeon right here. Right to the left? Yeah. I, I would have liked to scan all that. Oh. I thought there's more of it. It's got barbed wire on it, too. Oh, get fucked, barbed wire. <laughs> That's an ape place. <laughs> I'm gonna take this fridge. Mm, do not enter. Dang, I was trying to get some meat out of them. <laughs> it's an ape place, definitely. It's like banana inside some of the chests. Ape people. Find anything interesting? I fought it, dude. Upgrade module. There's a water cool and some things to scan down here. Barbed wire. Why deal with hazards when he can just pick them up? <laughs> cool, this background is made out of light metal. And smooth plated block. I feel like these apes aren't very strong. 
No, I found one of these places on a low level place too, but the loot here should still be strong, right? Yes. Now, this is quite the expansive underground area. I found an exit into a cave area. A server. I'm poison! Whoa. That's what I think you're poison. We use poison for crafting. <laughs> yep. I found something special. You're special. Thank you. What kind of special stuff did you find? Um. Well, shit. <laughs> What's um, well, shit? I found a doorway, but uh, in trying to get to it, I uh, destroyed it. Like a glowy doorway in the cave. Oh, that. Uh, those are like special little challenge areas. Okay. You can actually like hit E and then go inside them and they give you like a little... It's like those, uh, you know, the tutorial areas? Yep. Yeah. It's like a more dangerous version of those. I left that thing over there because I figured you need to scan it. <laughs> Torture machines. Hey, Mike. What's up? <laughs> I need that. <laughs> Wee! Is that a gun? Yeah, it's a gun. Should, should let me try it. I guess it's also yours. It's a very Asian gun. No poison up here? I kind of feel like it was worth it just for this. I like these building blocks. I can just port back to ship from here. We've finished exploring this place, right? Uh, we just got here. No, I meant like this facility, right? Yeah. I was gonna go beam back up and then uh, come back down and then head to the right. <clears throat> when you hit the enemy with it, it makes a slapping sound. <laughs> and tentacles, tentacles. <laughs> well, that actually does a lot of damage. Enemies get close though, it doesn't hit. It's just the tip that hits. Ah, dick breathes fire on me. Touch you, touch you, touch you. I haven't really found anything else. How about you? Not yet. I just got to... Uh, I'm still uh, getting rid of my inventory. It's also not super long range. Learn how to craft a reed bed. Oh, I think I found a Florin village. With things to scan. I like how I'm going through the dressers and stuff and it's like they have like spears and like throwing knives and then once one chest has fucking Molotov cocktails in it. <laughs> I'll have to do some of these quests on my free time because there is a reputation thing on for uh, the different races. A witch, sorry? A reputation. Oh, okay. I found a damage two collar for pets. Right click to equip a capture pod. We need pets first, though. Well, we got capture pods. How about tide pods? That's a challenge. Nice to meet you. Scorched core. Core what? Core else. Oh, we might find durasteel on this planet too, right? Nope. When I looked at the thing, it didn't say there was durasteel ore on it. Alright, I found a sniper rifle and two pistols. Nice. And a rocket spear. I still needed a good sword, though. I have found nothing for weapons. Well, some throwing axes and throwing knives. And some buzz saws. Random underground house with nobody in it. Getting leather and meat. Music box. I switched from my uh, poison bow to the titanium, or the tungsten bow. Because the uh, poison bow, if the poison kills the enemy, it doesn't count as killing up the bow, so they just don't drop their stuff regularly. I found, like, a bunch of tribals that took a long time to kill. They didn't do much damage, though. I think I found an abandoned high lotto place. Looks like. Is that what you found, too? Yep, definitely very Asian. Yeah. There's a fucking ghost wearing a samurai helmet. Did you find the same place? Yeah. I think you're on the other side of it. Tentacled. Tentacled. Tentacles. Ooh, samurai things. Touch, touch, touch. I found a blue dagger. 
Found a new assault rifle. Fire mm. one. What's up? Check between the floor and the ground too. I found that's where I found the chest with the blue dagger. You see, there's like a little crawl space under the floor. Yep. There was a chest in there. I'm surprised you didn't pick up the samurai stuff. You still need to scan it, didn't you? Yeah. Is there another path? No. Just the way I came in. So that's this planet done. And there's moon runes everywhere. Do you want that dagger? Uh, how much range do daggers have? I don't think they have a lot, do they? I don't think so. It's 5.5 .5 damage with a rate of fire of 3. I think I'll stick with the two-handed sword. Okay. Most annoying thing is trying to find the materials in these boxes. Do you want to visit a Durasteel planet? I think we should be able to handle it. Alright, if we do, you're going to need some uh, titanium. I got titanium. Or not, or yeah, six titanium bars. I got the titanium for you if you want. Why do I need the bars? I uh, need to make the radiation upgrade for your EPP. Oh, okay. Dang it. And when you use your EPP and upgrade it, you lose the augment. Oh, yuck. My little healing. <laughs> oh, well. All right, Mike. Ooh. Also that. Oh, good God. Hey, Mike. High quality trousers. Now look at, look at my hat. I found the floppy fancy hat. <laughs> oh, here, use this codex too. I glow! Oh, I, I found that codex already. Okay, let's see. And when you finish the codex, go ahead and put it in some of the boxes here. Okay, I've just been storing them in my ship. Alright, I'll go find a uh, a dangerous planet to go to. Okay. You're going to a radioactive star. Okay, I need to make that EPP. I need titanium, copper, and venom samples. Dangerous planet. Ow. Rusty metal. You weren't kidding when they said this place is dangerous. Raw sewage. Waste. Just so you know, being on the surface of this planet just hurts you. Ew, I'm picking up lots of raw sewage. Oh. <laughs> okay, I got my EPP made. This is the worst planet ever. There's a reason why it has high threat levels. It has to do with massive amounts of duke. Well, look at this, we're never gonna run out of poison. Nope. Oh, don't go outside. Yeah, exactly. Mean. I feel like this is probably a bad choice to get Durasteel from here, because there's no actual light like, caves and stuff, it's all poison down below. Because these are all islands like on the ocean planet, with just poison instead of ocean. I mean, you can try and find a different spot. Alright, and also don't break background walls, because it just makes poison spill out. I found a facility. Whereabouts? Right beside where you were. To the left? Uh, I just got uh, drums of uh, waste. They must have been a hazard. <laughs> Toxic waste. All right, this place sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Find a different risky planet. <laughs> We're looking for dangerous, not risky. There's a couple of risky planets here, but risky's uh, it has to be dangerous for it to have Durasteel. Okay. I mean, with how the last boss went, we probably could just do the mission and then call her. Mutated landscape. We might find some good stuff in that uh, Great Pagoda library. Because it would lead us to Durasteel, right? Oh, this one looks kind of cool. Okay. Alien fruit juice. Dirt urchin. Treasure. Also, this place is music. Silicone board and tech cards. I'll go over this way then. I was going to start looking down in case for Durasteel. You want to search the surface for facilities. Plant fibers are the same. <laughs> this place has catchy music. Ooh, that's rude. <laughs> have some tentacles. I have to look up. There's something special you can do with uh, fossils too. Yeah, you need a brush, I believe. 
Can't we make it already, though? Yeah, we can make them, because we made the thingy, but, uh, I mean, you still need to have a brush on hand. I'm gonna go make one, then, because I used to find fossils underneath here all the time. Okay. Now, there's anything important that we need. It's, like, cosmetic stuff. Maybe we'll get to resurrect a dinosaur for pets. I don't think for pets, but I know you can get, like, a big T-Rex fossil. Oh, jeez, I gotta retreat. <laughs> I found a group of guys with guns. Suddenly, alien fruits. You're like, I'll show these guys a thing or two. <laughs> oh, you need a higher grade mech to go onto these planets. I had to retreat. <laughs> I guess that's something to look at, too. Master Fossil Brush. Haven't even made a regular one. You take care of those bandits? No. <laughs> I just took a bath in poison. I just got back to them. Okay, they're dead now. The villagers, uh, that they... Th there was two little, uh, duders that they killed, but, uh, they paid for it. <laughs> you avenge them. I think if it's done slightly correctly, you can actually make the tentacles go through walls. Certain walls. <laughs> tentacles, tentacles. That enemy is strong against tentacles. Probably have to go pretty deep for durst, for good quantities of durst. Get all our shit upgraded. Alright, how's fossil work? Huh. Let's brush away all this dirt. Oh, I see. It's a puzzle game. Wipe away the dirt. Huh, I think this part's impossible now. <laughs> I can't rotate. Oh, I did it. Excavation com oh, excavation incomplete. Never mind, I didn't do it. <laughs> I was thinking I destroyed the chest. Got bone. Oh. The brush isn't a tool, it's consumed when you make when you do when you do this. Oh, okay. Found another bunch of mercies. This time I uh got them easier. Kill him from far far away. Yeah. That sniper rifle with the grenade launcher. <laughs> Oh yeah, I found another sniper rifle. It's 20.6 damage. Oh, that's big. And it has a grenade launcher. I'm not sure if all sniper rifles have grenade launchers. No, they don't. I had one with a dart that would just uh, auto affect the enemy with their uh, status. And then I've had one with a marking capability. My melee combo still does pretty significant damage to the enemies. You're getting tentacled so hard. Hive block. Still don't know what Durasteel looks like. Ah, I found Durasteel. It's another white, it's another privilege door. <laughs> I keep finding silver down here. Yeah, I think the deeper you go, the more ore you find, so now I'm starting to find a good quantity of, of uh, Durasteel ore. Nice. It's nice when you find, like, veins that are, like, 15 to 20. I'm gonna go up and see what you need for the Durasteel armor. Are you still exploring the surface? I'm still on the surface here. I found uh, f one of those uh, Florin uh, dungeons. Get lots of spears in it, as well as Molotov cocktails. I haven't gone in it yet, I just found the entrance. I'm giving all the enemies down here tentacles. I'm tickling them all ten times. <laughs> yep. I don't like high blocks, so they're annoyingly difficult to kill. Ooh. What's up? These guys are uh, pretty buff. Poison spitters are annoying. Annoying hive blocks. Hive chest. I like when ores inside the plant matter though, because plant matter is super easy to break. Nano wrap bandage. I found a staff level four primary ice swarm low gravity zone special. Just throwing daggers. Okay, that's cool. Did you find magic? The low gravity zone is awesome. You, you cast it and it creates a circle on the area that's low gravity so you can jump higher through it and everything. Hey guys, open up your shell again. Thank you. Oh, you jerk. Eat some daggers. Hunter of Steel. Oh yeah, this staff is pretty powerful. 
Is it a melee weapon or a magic weapon? Magic. Fucking magic. Magnets? Yeah. And a two-handed spear, but it's white quality, so not great. <laughs> <laughs> Keep finding all the ores except for Durasteel. You can't hit me when I'm this close. Found the underground bandit. <laughs> just got right up in his face, and since he didn't have a melee weapon, just ate shit. You. Yeah. Medical kit. So you turn the lights on over there. Oh, it's a friendly person. <laughs> what metal are you made from? Tentacles, tentacles, tentacles. Oh, get fucked. A lot of these chests are like, hey, look at this super awesome chest. Here's a manipulator module. It's like, I don't want these. I mean, I kind of well, do. I do, but... <laughs> Riot protector shield. Necrolux heart linker. Poison rain and energy zone. So I found magic too. What was that, sorry? I found magic too. Nice. What type? Poison rain. Ooh. Oh cool, and it follows your staff around. Yeah, I got ice. Oh, energy zone. Whoa. Probably is a zone that'll replenish your energy. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I got anti-gravity. <laughs> Whoa, it really does replenish your energy. Like, I literally don't have to let up on the trigger at all. I'm gonna try the rocket launcher with it. See how many rockets I can launch. Yep, it restores it faster than you can launch with the ro lo rocket launcher. What's the fast using weapon? The assault rifle. Yeah, it restores it faster than my the, the uh, assault rifle can shoot too. Nice. So it's literally like an in, in infinite energy zone. So kind of cool. Well, I found some dirty steel in a chest. I'm in the deep cobblestone layers now. Oh, I found a tentacle gun. Is it the alien worm gun? Yeah. 358? Special's tentacle burst? Yes. It looks like it's a straight up weapon, kind of like the chakram and stuff. Yeah. Now all you need is your very own Japanese schoolgirl. Tentacles! Tentacles! Good thing I have my whip. And why is that? Because it's awesome. Is it a strong weapon? It's one-handed, so it keeps the uh, it can keep an enemy at bay while I shoot them with my pistol. Well, that's everything from here. Tentacles! It's raining. It's pouring. <laughs> raining. 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 <laughs> Found some underground bandits. I'm just like acid rain. My food. I think the bandits murdered the resident in this place. Poor resident. These spitters have an annoyingly high amount of hit points. Yeah, I'm out. Hmm. Weird looking thing that goes through walls. Guess tentacled. <laughs> Guessing most things here are going to be highly resistant to poison. Not highly resistant to tentacles, though. Blech. It's annoying when I find just like one Durasteel on the wall. Finding lots of glow fiber, though. If you want to make glow sticks? I got 12 Durasteel. So that'll make six, I believe. Or maybe four. I think Durasteel may, may need three. Maybe. I want to check. Poison land. And tentacles! And poke you, poke you, poke you. There's so much tentacle poking going on. Mm. That's right, this found we found the, this episode we found the true Japanese weapon. Kind of odd that it was in the, uh, act, the uh, ape area, not the uh, high lotal area. I found mine in the the plant people with the plant people here, so... Other races are importing high lotal hentai. <laughs> Aha, Durasteel. Did you check how much Durasteel it takes for one ingot? I just get into the planet now. Well, there, if you can see what uh, we need for the Durasteel armor. We need to upgrade our bench again before we can do that. Oh, but we can do the Durasteel to upgrade the bench, right? Yeah. Uh, no, it's two per. Oh, okay. Uh, we need 12 Durasteel, one battery, one, 10 silicone boards, and 20 copper wires. For That's the, actually uh, pretty easy to make. Yeah. I guess I can come back up. I think I have enough Durasteel for another 50 ingots. Not enough for mech parts, but at least that'll get us the next armor tier, I think. 
Uh, well, four Durasteel bars will make you the compound bow, which is the next upgraded uh, hunting bow. Yeah, armor first, though, because it increases yeah. health, energy, and damage. Touch you, touch you, touch you, touch you. Are you getting touched so hard? Get touched. This weapon's fucking stupid. <laughs> I can walk into spikes. I suppose I should start heading back up. Huh, what's the damage on the uh, Durasteel bow? Our second is... 20.3. Hmm. I found a bow down here with 16.3 on it. And it and it's bow and it uh fires arrows of pure energy. They glow. Awesome. I'm wondering if I should stick with this bow. Yeah. Then again, more damage. It's like what's more important, damage or looks? Lux. I'm gonna run to Arc and see what our mechs take to upgrade to. Slime globs. Yeah, I probably also have to look at better first aid items soon because uh, our health is getting higher than the first aid, right? Yeah. So the better boosters I have is 10 titanium, 10 salvage thrusters, and 5 interface chips. And the better legs I have are. 10 actuators, 5 chips, and 10 titanium bars. So you need a bunch of titanium. Don't worry, I, uh, let me get back. I have like 500 titanium bars. My underground adventures. He was like, you don't need Durasteel, you need more coal and silver. It's like, I really don't. <laughs> okay, I think coal's always useful. Buff thing gave bombs. Hi. This is my bow. Nice. You want to see energy zone? It's raining. It's pouring. Come back here. <laughs> magic. Magic. <laughs> acid rain. Acid rain. That's cool. I think it is pretty strong. Is that dirt steel up here? It's titanium. I was wrong, Durasteel's kind of, like, gray, dark gray. Here's some Durasteel over here. Okay. Oh yeah, I see that. It's raining, it's pouring. <laughs> tentacles! Hang on. Alright, now shoot tentacles. <laughs> Use tentacles. It's double tentacle action. Let's double penetrate them with tentacles! <laughs> steel and up over here I see you doing rollerball gymnastics yeah all right I gotta get out of here <laughs> do a steel copper leg where oh a manipulator have you upgraded to three by three yet yes all right what's the next upgrade we're gonna work on um I did I had six left over last time I was there, so I did the range. Oh, there's a fossil. I don't have the brush anymore. Yeah, when you do the fossil minigame, it's consumed. Underground adventures. Oh, there's something there. The manipulator module. There's two above that. And that's the spirit. Just throwing spears. <laughs> the uh, throwing spears actually do a lot of damage. Oh, there's steel on the wall. You know what's nice about the uh, breathing thing, the EPP? Is that it protects you when sand suffocates you too. When you're like down here and like sand all collapses on you and you're just stuck beneath a thousand sand. <laughs> Manipula module. And a electric bomb collar. Collar that causes your pet to explode when they're defeated. That sounds horrible. Fucking suicide bomber pet. Ow. <laughs> what happened? I was trying to get up there because uh, my jump is uh, also butts. Oh, made it to a tar area. Excuse Did me. you get that uh, chest up in the... In the roof? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Cool story, bro. The... Oh. That's where I was. We can pour here. 
<laughs> we made it. Finally. <laughs> it's your fault for reporting to me. I mean, I would have been just waiting elseways. Alright, so we need to make some durasty. I can make 70 bars. So that should be enough for some armor for us. Yeah, give or take. Once we upgrade the table. Also another 50 titanium bars. And another million silver that I need. Let's see what you can turn silver into so we can sell it and make some more pixels. Another thing we can do is there's the pixel uh, thing that we can make with Durasteel. I think that turns resources into extra pixels. Okay. I think we get more value out of that than uh, actually selling it to a vendor. Alright, so this thing is upgraded with what? Battery, silicon board, copper wire. I'll make the copper wire. Oops. What'd you do? I had my uh, matter manipulator out when I went to click on the uh, house thing. So let me go grab some more sand and then I'll have enough for the, the silicon boards. I have everything else. I'll get that upgraded. Dirt steel and leather. Dirt steel and leather. Deer steel, leather, silk. Okay. That's really easy. It is. You have the stuff for the silk? Because I picked up a bunch of the silkworm stuff. Uh, yes, I should. It's just on my ship. I'll just need extra dura steel. Yep. You need the full 20? Uh, I have six on me. So, okay, I just gotta pick up the stuff. I'll also upgrade the apothecary into the medical station. Okay. I thought it was just one per piece, but it was three for the breastplate alone. Alright, I put down the refinery and the uh, pixel compressor. Okay. So what you can do is before going on a journey, you can compress your pixels in the pixel compressor, and it gives you like these blocks of pixels that you okay. can store. So that way if you die, you don't actually lose the pixels. You sound hungry. You want a slice of pizza? Never mind. <laughs> I'm going to become a dark knight. And we are out of Durasteel. <laughs> well, there's a living roots. Alright, shall we call her here? In my free time, I go and mine some more Durasteel. <laughs> toxic waste sludge. This toxic, this toxic shouldn't go to waste. Yeah. All right, how many titanium bars do you need for your parts, your ship part, your uh, mech parts? That was a good question. Um, let me go count. I'll have to make the parts for you too, unless you found parts as well. I think I have one part. I know you got the machine gun arm. Okay, I need 10 titanium, 10 thrusters, and 5 chips for the boosters. I, is that the Zed mech boosters? No, Astro mech boosters. Oh, what's the flight speed and maneuverability on it? Flight speed is 1, maneuverability is 3. I have flight speed 3, maneuverability 1. Uh, it's uh, whatever you want then. Alright, I can probably make my own thrusters, but the rest of the stuff I can't make, except for, like, I have 5 different extra types of weapons. <laughs> Okay, the other thing I have is legs, which is ground speed 3, jump power 1, and it's 10 titanium bars, 10 actuators, and 5 chips. Alright, we can figure this out on our free time. Yeah. Alright, so next time we'll be all Durasteel out for our next mission. We're just going to stomp this boss in the Grand Library. <laughs> yep. Alright, thanks for watching! Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care! Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, share, and comment. You can click on the left button to subscribe, and the right one to watch more Starbound. Thanks for watching.